Hey guys, and welcome to another Daily Tip episode here. It is February 21st, 2009, and I've got a little quick Reaper tip to show you about uh, changing time signatures. Um, a lot of songs nowadays can get pretty complicated, and time signatures changing, and tempos changing, and things like that. So I'm going to show you how to, if you're in a recording studio or something like that, um, how you uh, actually record two different time signatures um, inside of Reaper here. So I've just got some tracks here. Um, just set up. Um, you don't really need uh, anything to show you this tip. I'm just going to go ahead and play this at 150 so you can hear what it sounds like without the tempo change. And then I'll tell you how to change the tempo and play it back and so you can see the difference here. So here is without tempo change. All right, so that's just a standard 150 uh, BPM uh, metronome. I'm going to go to about uh, three seconds or so, and I'm going to go up here to Insert, and I'm going to come down to Time Signature slash Tempo Change Marker. Uh, that's a really long title. Um, and I'm going to click that, and you'll get this little dialog box up here, and you can actually change the tempo and the position if you want it to. Um, and even change the 4-4 to something like 3-4 for a different time signature. Um, so I'll change this to 200. And now you can see it put these two um, little T's at the beginning and at 3 seconds. And these stand for a tempo or a time signature change. And it, it actually shows you here's 150 and here's 200. And say we went to around 7 seconds and we went to insert and time signature and we went back to 150 and you can see we have three different changes here so we'll come back here to the beginning and I'll play this and you can hear the transition between um, each of the time signatures so that's just a quick tip if you're using um, uh, several different time signatures inside of uh, Reaper and you want to make sure that uh, the drums and the guitars are all on time with a metronome uh, That's the way you change the time signature. So uh, be sure to uh, keep on checking out our videos. We'll have a lot more to come here soon